My name is Ilana. I grew up in Anchorage, Alaska, and I came to Penn a little overwhelmed and unsure of what to make of everything. When I got to college at UC Berkeley, I definitely faced challenges that I never had before being a Jew. People were frankly anti-Semitic. For me, growing up in Utah, I felt very disconnected from a very central part of like my family history. When I was going through temple study, it was held in the basement of a church. It doesn't really get you excited about being a Jew. I don't feel that I had a lot of Jewish friends before Mayor came into the picture because growing up where I grew up, you kind of were seen as dumb if you believed in God or religion. I grew up, you know, completely secular during Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, whatever you had presents or food, basically. Got cast for a lead in a future film and pretty much had everything I could ever dream of. And I looked around at the people I was surrounded by realized it was all, like I said, just for show. They just lived to show off. I thought, uh, there's gotta be more to life than this, and I need to go find it. That's where my life changed. When I joined Mayor, I really found a community and mentors and the lessons that we learned was so amazing in the sense that it was really tactical advice that I could bring into my everyday life at Penn. A rabbi came up to me and said, what are you doing on Friday night? It was like Monday. I was like, I don't know, I'm 20. I don't plan that far in advance. And he's like, well, you know, if you're not doing anything, you should come over. And I went to that first Shabbat dinner, I still remember it, at Rabbi Kamen's house in Palo Alto. I think the activities really help you bond on a very personal level with the people around you. And it's very fun, obviously. And then the learning kind of takes it to the next level where you're thinking about things that you don't usually think about. I started taking the Maimonides class and that was really the start of it all. Learning what it's like to be really a strong Jewish woman. Here I am, 20, 21 in college, finding Maimonides super relevant to the things that I'm going through in classes and with friends and, and recruiting for jobs and all these different things. And then I remember thinking like, why didn't they teach us this stuff in Hebrew school? We began studying privately one time a week, and for me it was really learning what it meant to be a Jew from the ground up. Rabbi Lokech, he's a phenomenal human being that also just makes himself available to every single one of his students, no matter what they need. I'd say Me'or is definitely more about igniting the flame within and unleashing the individual's potential. I think the most impactful thing I learned is how we realize that there's so much to integrate into our personal lives and it provides a framework for our own understanding of our modern world. That was kind of a big shift in Jewish learning that I really appreciated because it takes really what's up there and the theoretical and the mystical and kind of brings it down and makes it practical and human. And as soon as I started learning about Pirkei Avos with Rabbi Ganger, I saw like, wow, there's something else going on here, like there's an ethical component to this, it's not just information. Every time we would sit down for a new Mishnah, he would say like, your challenge is actually to find the right questions. And I remember already then, a little bit of a light bulb went off. And I just realized that there was uh, something different to the way I was seeing the world. And I was, this is it. Th this is what I've been looking for. This is, there's something about this that is just ringing and ringing through my very core. I'm like, I need to know more. That's when I realized I had to get back to Israel. Went to Miravision and and got introduced to a life which I never knew existed, a life of real inner beauty, truth, depth, a life of actual greatness and love in every minute. Mayor is different than any other organizations on campus. It's not about being whoever you want to be or about just practicing traditions when you feel like it. It's about really challenging and questioning what Judaism means to you and what your Jewish identity is. Something that Mayor teaches that you want to elevate everything in your life and everything should be in balance. And if I didn't get that balance right, I would not have a level of of positivity and energy and I probably would be also significantly less successful business-wise because I needed that guidance to help me through my career. 
you can study all you want, you can learn all you want, and you never stop learning, but it matters of how you put that learning into action, how you actually act on those principles and those values that you learn and that you hold dear. That's the hard part, and that's what matters. That's what's in our back pocket. We're, we're Jewish and we have the best life available to us if we just know where to look, and thank God we have rabbis to open those doors. And for me, that was it. I knew I had to have more. Everything's changed, there's meaning behind it. And it's the most beautiful, endless meaning that I think exists in the world. I met a huge Jewish population and I feel like the vast majority of my friends now are Jewish. I think a big thing for me is feeling more connected to like the, my fellow Jews and the knowledge and the culture I've kind of picked up in those few months doing Mayor and with Rick Fox is something I'll bring with me well beyond my college years. It is hard to be a Jew in the modern world, but like Mayor makes it a you know a heck of a lot easier. It's funny because I came in wanting to, you know, save the trees and save the environment. I came out with a little bit more of a vision for what I wanted in my life. And that's what Mayor does. And if it weren't for that, like I said, I, I wouldn't be here today. There's no way that I'd be where I am right now without Mayor, without Rabbi Ganger, without Rabbi Jack, without Rabbi Stein. I've, I've decided that I want to live a passionate and committed Jewish life. Mayor is really their mission statement. They're literally bringing to life people.